Hello lovelies, welcome to the Crafty Pixie channel. I'm B. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is great to have you. How is everybody doing? I hope that you are well and I thank you so much for getting up and fighting another day. It is greatly appreciated. In today's video, we've got the June Cool Stitches So Fun box. I am very excited to see what is inside. I've, I'm new to this box, but I'm really enjoying the little projects that are inside. They're very quick um, and they're not really all that difficult. So that's really nice to kind of do something quick and easy um, and cute. <laughs> it's really, really nice. Um, if you don't already know, as of time of filming, this box is $37.99, including shipping to the U.S. They do have a monthly option, a three-month option, and a two, like twice a year option, I think it is. Um, but they also have, I think, three other boxes as well. I'll have a link in the description box below for you so you can check it out if you haven't already. Um, also, if you haven't, please click the subscribe button down below and the notification bell so you know when I up upload almost every week. I'm really trying. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section, especially if you are a new subscriber. I would love to hear from you. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to share. The sharing really, really helps and I greatly appreciate each and every one of you very much. So without any further ado, let's get this box open and see what's inside. All right, let's crack this open and see what we got. Candy. All right, let's see. Hmm. All right, let's see. Hmm. got. First thing, we've got a bobbin boat. Oh, that's cute. I like how everything has like bows on it. Hold on. You stick your bobbins in as you go. That's cool. From Dritz. All right. Then we've got our all of our hardware and thread. Sorry if you can hear my little one in the background. So the Smith's U80 needle. All right. And then our thread, oop, thread. That's a pretty color. That's almost like copper. And then we've got a <laughs> quite a variety of zipper pulls. So we've got two yellow, a blue, a maroon, black, and white, and then a lobster clasp. I'll stick those back in there, they're small. Okay. Else. Oh, oh, look at this. All right, this get, this screams Mardi Gras to me. All right, that's really cool. I like that. It is cotton. That's nice. All right. And then another one. Oh, that's 
pretty too. This is cotton as well, it's got little birds on it. That's pretty. Okay. We have two sets of zipper tape. So yellow and maroon. I love that maroon color. All right. We've got some fusible interfacing. Mm, hold on, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't tell me doesn't tell me. I think this is, it's fusible. It doesn't feel like SF-101 though. It's very lightweight. All right, let's see. Oh, this is, <laughs> hold on. It is the Lazy Girl Designs Fabio. It's a lanyard style key fob, zips up to your wrist to lock in place. Clip your keys or add a pouch to make an instant wristlet. Includes two sets of one and a quarter inch key fob hob hardware. Size is an inch and a quarter by six inches. <laughs> that is <laughs> freaking adorable. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I've made key fobs um, on the channel before, so I've got the tool to use with these, but here's the, the key fob, okay? Let's see. This does not look crazy complicated at all. We shall see though. There's always possibilities that it is complicated. Um, yeah, Lazy Girl Designs. That's cool. So we have so many zip or zipper pulls because uh, hold on, because it looks like there's three zipper pulls on each. Or you can just do one. Okay. Let's see. And then, what's this? The Zunes Sewing Therapy Sun Hat. Free sewing pattern and tutorial. Finish circumference of... 22 and a half for adults. To enlarge or decrease the hat size, try scaling the pattern in the printer dialog box. Note the pattern test square should be two inches. All right. So there's our, looks like we got a secondary one. It's a scrap buster. We don't have the fabrics for this one, but that's really cool. All right, and then if you're a member, you get a 35% off select sewing kits through June. All right, well, that I think that's everything, come on. Yep, that's everything in the box. I'm gonna load everything back in. This is gonna be fun. Okay, I'm gonna, I don't know what to, looks like I can do a bunch. So we'll see what fabric I'm gonna use. I don't know yet. All right, so put everything back in so we don't lose anything. All right, that is that. 
Well, without any further ado, let's get to materials and escape for a while. For this project, you're going to need one side of a zipper, at least one zipper pull. Um, the pattern does include instructions to add up to three zipper pulls. I'm only going to do one for this video. You're going to need your cut of fabric interfaced, um, some fabric glue, a seam ripper, your coordinating thread, um, clips or pins, probably clips for this. You may need some double-sided tape. And then of course, you're going to need your hardware. Um, the set does include two. I'm only going to make one today, but you can, with the fabric that they gave you, you can make at least four because you only need one side of the zipper, so you can literally make two per zipper. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get started. Let's go. First thing we're going to do is we're going to prep the zipper. Now the instructions say that you're going to want to cut four to five teeth off of your zipper teeth. So you want to keep your zipper tape intact, but you want to cut off the teeth. So I've already made a little mark of where we're going to go. And we're just going to cut right against the teeth up to the mark and then just cut them off. Just don't, they don't want you to cut any more than what they say. So I'm kind of, it's hard to see these teeth because they're the same color as the tape. Uh, hold on one second. Okay, so I went ahead and cut. Now I'm going to take, it doesn't say to do this in the instructions, but I find that this works really well at keeping the tape from fraying is you just seal the edge of where you cut and what you're doing so that it doesn't fray and cause an issue. Okay, so that's prepped. You can stick that to the side for right now. Next, we're going to take our one piece of fabric that is interfaced. We're going to fold it in half, take it to this um, iron and iron the crease. And then we're gonna take the raw edges up to meet that crease, like so. And then, once you iron that, we're gonna fold it over like that. So I'm going to go to the iron and do that. I'll be right back. Next, after that is pressed, we're going to take our zipper and the zipper tape, and we are going to align it inside of the fabric. Now you want the fabric to be at least a quarter of an inch away from the zipper teeth. Not a quarter of an inch, I'm sorry. Eighth of an inch away from the zipper teeth because you don't want the zipper to get caught when you're doing this. So just align the front and back of the fabric should be aligned as you're going. Oop. So just like this. You're going to finish clipping that all the way down the edge, sandwiching the zipper tape inside, and you're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and with a zipper foot, we're just going to sew across the line at an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch on there. Make sure to backstitch at the beginning 
and at the end. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and I will be right back. All right, next step um, after you were done is to install the zipper pull. Um, I am not good at it. It's not pretty to watch, so I didn't film it, but I got it on. Um, what I had to do, I couldn't get the zipper uh, pull on, so I had to go to Amazon and I purchased a zipper jig. I'll have a link in the description box below for you. This is like a third hand. It's great. It does three and five um, inch zippers, so that's really nice. So I'll have that down there for you. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to take this over to the sewing machine and we're just going to backstitch across the bottom um, to make sure that this stays in place and that the zipper tab doesn't come off while we are getting ready to install the key fob end. Once you do that, we're going to just even out the bottom, cut any excess off, and then we're going to install. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back. With that done and the trimming done, now I put a little bit of fabric glue on there just so that there's no fraying. We're going to slide it in right to the edge. Now we're going to take our tool, if you have one, and we're gonna start closing it up. Oh, here, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. These were very wide. Okay. Slide it in. Taking its sweet time today. Make sure it's in, make sure the fabric is all the way to the edge. These are really um, strong pieces, so it's really giving me a hard time. Hold on. all right make sure that's nice and tight you don't want your key fob sliding out at all awesome all right, so that's nice and tight. And once you attach your key ring, you are done. There's your little <laughs> key fob key ring, the Fabio. Uh, this is really cute. Now, of course, just like in the pattern, you can stick more than one zipper tab on there if you want. Um, I was happy just to get the one on, so I left it at one. So there you go. That is the, uh, what is it? June Cool Stitches uh, So Fun Box. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, anything like that, feel free to leave them in the, in the comment section down below. Give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to share. Until next time, see ya.